Welcome to the review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Bulkhead Autobot Jax class with his uh, spinning dragon grinder as his primary uh, primary weapon. As you can see here, Bulkhead is in his uh, larger than uh, normal Redux class. You can see the uh, box art here. The um, Transformers Prime Beast Wars Predaking on the left. His uh, weapon. Basically, you can see a bit of him here. Okay, here the here are his specs. Okay, uh, here are his uh, tech specs: strength ten, intelligence five, speed four, rank six, courage eight, five blast seven, skill of five. And at the back here, you can see his um his bio. The big Autobot Bruiser has enough strength to bust up. The entire Predacon army. So right here is his vehicle mode, the robot mode. Uh, okay, as you can see in the previous reviews, are still the same. And here you can see Starscream, Ripcord, and Smoke Screen, which are upcoming reviews. And here is a uh, uh, closer look for on Bulkhead, which surprisingly he does not have a he's, he he does not have any eyes, just a visor on his uh, on his head coat. Here, what you can see here is uh, the um, uh, the uh, user manual or text pack. Uh, I mean, the uh, user manual for on how to transform Beast Hunter's uh, box head. And here is this. Uh, this is chapter nine. This is box head. Uh, technical uh, drawing specs. Okay, basically this is weapon. And here is the story, which I think can, you can make it out here. Make it out quite clearly. Here are the uh, transformation specs, which which uh, has what includes this. It's quite uh, it's an internet level of two, and it's quite detailed. The transformation, I mean the uh, user manual, and the back as well. You can see all the way that you know on how to transform him to from robot to vehicle and vehicle to robot. Here is Bulkhead in robot mode. All right, as you can see, he is. Uh, uh, if you if you do not know the, uh, if you don't notice, you uh, straight mis mistaken him for Roadbuster. All right, and his colors are basically beige, uh, green, blue, and red. And this is the front part, and this is the back of the uh, back part of the, uh, the back part of Bulkhead. Alright, he comes with a weapon which is called the Spinning Dragon Grinder which uh, which will spin when you actually press the button here Okay, as you can see it's uh, nicely sculpted Here's a close look of Bulkhead, his head does have a light piping but you on the light piping here you can rotate his head a bit, but you cannot rotate it all the way because of the uh, this this area which uh, hinders the uh, movement. And if when you put it into a light source, you can see his uh, uh, visor light up in blue. All right. As for his uh, articulation wise, what you can see from this figure is quite similar to the other figures as well. A ball jointed shoulder, uh, elbow which can bend, a uh, fist which can just uh, move in and move out like this. We cannot swivel it. There's no waist articulation on this figure as well. Uh, the upper part of the um, leg is on the ball joint, knee. You can bend it. Basically, the uh, feet can just uh, move it this way, back and forth. Nothing much you can do with this figure. Then, okay, right here, you can see his uh, head sculpt. It's basically just uh, two horns from his uh, head. And basically, this is this visor. His mouth is here. 
that's all you see from the uh, head and you can also you can see a Autobot logo on its crouch crouch area here about head can hold his weapon basically on his hand here or you can pack in at the side of the uh, mag tripod on each of his hands or you can pack in here which anywhere which has a mag tripod here and uh, this way is for uh, storage purposes and for size comparison bulkhead is slightly bigger than your average uh, deluxe uh, to prove that and we compare him with uh, Generations Thunder Crackers so over here this is the front side and back comparison Right, and if you were to raise this part here, of course, uh, okay, it looks a bit more uh, bigger than usual. All right, and for the uh, about hit figure, the like class, we still he is a bit um, more than usual, more bulkier, more armored. Especially this is a new this this is a new mold, basically added. Uh, he looks like a uh, knight from uh, King Arthur's uh, realm or something and <laughs> he is armed up to the max and basically he is uh, one of the uh, best looking about uh, especially as he looks more b uh, buffy as usual buffed up basically for those who do not like these hunters this is an actual this is a new direction from your usual uh, Transformers Prime Season 1 and 2 basically um, this mold and the plastic quality compared to the uh, 4 Cybertron figures this plastic wise is um, uh, better but you still at least this part here you do not have some uh, hollowness that you can see here which uh, Starscream suffers also from Wave 2 but otherwise this is quite nice figure to have and for another feature which I just uh, look at the manual this does pop out and this form part of the uh, shoulder piece for about head uh, it's kind of an armor and for the uh, other colors basically he is also he has some gold parts here on his belt on his uh, waist buckle you can call it on his shoulders as well especially the uh, uh, dragon grinder and that's it and on top of the hood area or shoulder pieces you can see some um, dirt on the uh, figure itself I think it's intentional by as well uh, to actually include it on the on the parts because it's just I think it's just part of the uh, character design it, it will have it on on the legs as well, especially this area and this area. All right, and on to the transformation. Flip this up. Pull this in. Pull this back in this way. Pack this in. Legs. Remove the uh, dragon grinder. Fold this out. Fold this in. Inward. To form the back of the um, vehicle, vehicle itself. And what you need to do before putting this up is to basically fold this back. Put this in front. Okay. Pull the hands back a bit. For this part, basically move it up a bit. Pull this this way. Form the part of the front of the uh, bumper. Basically what you can do is fold this out, 
move the fold the hands this way, fold it up. Same goes for the other side. Move it up this way, pack everything in. Close the side doors. Pack in this pack to the um, hole here. Pack it in. The same goes for the other side. And before we can do that, before we can close this part here, you need to slide the hands this way a bit inner. So you can peg it into the to this slot here. Slide the hands in, fold it in this way. Same goes for the other arm, sliding into this groove here. Okay, close the doors, take it into the hole here as I said just now. And as for the front part, come here, bring this up. Bring this front portion up here. Alright, pack this in. For, for the front portion, just snap it in. This way. Alright, lower this part here. Put this together again. Move the hands in. The same way I just uh, showed just now. Let's click back in the hands this way. Alright. Bend this part here, pack in it here. Close the doors, pack in properly. And you have Sprout Head in his robot mode. Uh, in his uh, vehicle mode, sorry. Right here you have um, ball head in uh, vehicle mode, okay. And in front here, the uh, most visible uh, visible problem is this part here keeps uh, going down, but it should be uh, it should be uh, actually pushed up. Okay, the color scheme are basically the same. In front here is a translucent uh, blue color painted uh, mirrors back and front uh, side and front. Okay, and the uh, it rolls pretty well. And here's the uh, uh, underneath the uh, car, the uh, vehicle mode. You can see obviously his hand still sticking out from beneath the uh, vehicle. So this is one of the uh, issues that um, some reviewers have had besides myself. All right, and here is the dragon claw. Or grinder you can put on top of the vehicle and on the sides as well, depending on uh, which is your preference. Okay, usually I'll put it on top. Okay, it's a um, very decent de deluxe class for you. Here, side by side, is a size comparison of uh, four of Cybertron um, Optimus Prime. You can see uh, in uh, vehicle mode, uh, about head is uh, obviously bigger than Optimus. Okay. Ends the review of Transformers Prime with two.